Yo, what is up? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up emulators. Uh, I'll be doing RPCSX3, PCX2, and Yuzu. Uh, I was thinking about putting them all together, but actually, you know what, Never mind. I'm, I'm gonna do them individually. I'll start off with RPCS3, um, just the full setup, how to get it going. Uh, first things first, we're gonna wanna go to our browser and we're gonna wanna type in RPCS3. I will drop you guys a link just in case you guys might need it. We're going to go ahead, click that first tab, and we're going to go ahead and download for Windows. Close out the ad. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to get the Windows version. When it's done, it will be in our downloads. Is it done? Mm, almost. Cool. All right, so now that we have our game, we're gonna want to extract it. If you don't have an extractor already, this is the one that I use. It, it's it's all on preference on extraction. It's like 7-Zip I know of. Um, I don't know the name of this one. I should. Breeze it. That's the one I use. But you'll download it and oh, you'll just run the application. Um, so once you have an extractor, we're just going to double click our file and we're going to go ahead and extract. We're done. Close it out. Go ahead, delete this. Now we have RPCS3. We're going to click it. We're going to look for the application and we're going to click that. Um, not this one because I already have mine set up. I want the one that I just downloaded. Here it is. We're going to double click it. Might take a second. This is the screen you're gonna get. Do we wanna create a desktop uh, shortcut? Yeah, it's up to you if you want to. I always like to do that and then uh, add it to my, my games folder. It's just easier access. Uh, we're gonna click do not show this again. I have read the quick starter and continue. So here's our game. First things first, what I always like to do is also pin it uh, on here, you know, right click pin to taskbar. If you don't have keyboard and mouse, all you would need to do is hold it down and yeah, it'll come up like that. So next things, our next thing we need to do, let's set up our firmware. So we're gonna go to files, we're gonna install firmware. If, if you don't already have firmware, this is where you would go. Actually, I think you could just go to the PS3 the PS3 store We'll come down here. So 490 is the latest or the last one. We're going to place it soft. Is it this one here? Did I let you download it from here anymore? I will attach a download for the firmware that I currently have for you guys. Or if you guys just want to look one up, it's up to you. Um, but I will attach a firmware for you. No problem. But let's say you have your firmware now. Uh, after you know you've, after you grab the one from the link that I dropped, you're gonna download it and extract it, and then we're gonna go to install firmware. I left mine, I think, in my documents. It could be in your downloads, but it's gonna be labeled as PS3 update .pub. We're gonna click open. We're gonna click. Uh, it's gonna tell you old firmware is detected. No, it's not. Go ahead and click yes. It's gonna do this, it's gonna go dark, and it's really gonna load up everything you need. And I'll let that finish.
Now, assuming you guys already have your guys' like games that, that you own and you've like ported over to your Legion Go, you're going to, we're gonna add the game directory next. When you start a new game, it's always gonna load the the shader catchy. It, it, depending on how big the file is, it, it could take like five to 10 minutes. I recently did Metal Gear 4. It literally took, I think an hour and a half, almost two hours, only because the game was 40 gigabytes. So if you're in 40, be prepared to like have a long install. Uh, if it's like five gigs, man, it's probably gonna take you like, I don't know, a minute, two minutes. Uh, like I said, just depends on uh, your storage. So we're gonna go ahead, go to files, go to add game. You're gonna go to your games folder, wherever you have yours. Mine's over here, PS3. We're gonna select the folder. Now we have our game popping up. Before we get started though, we wanna configure our gamepad. So right now it's saying keyboard. We wanna change that to X input. Now these won't label like move at all, not like Yuzu, but just know it works. You're gonna wanna lower this just a tad bit so we could pick it up and actually save our controls. We're gonna save it and I think that's about it. You could go ahead, start it up. Uh, what I would do though is I would go to RPCS3 compatibility list. I'll drop another tab there for you. Um, always check if your game even works before you even download a game or before you download your game. You know, uh, it's gonna offer you the best settings for it. If not, look up a YouTube video, you know, for that particular game if you need custom configurations and settings. But this would be the tab if you wanna set up the settings like GPU, uh, lock it at like 60 FPS, lower shader, you know, it gets really in depth. Um, so make sure you look up your game through RPCS3 three compatibility list do your settings as needed next we're going to go over game patches manage game patches when you first boot this up it's going to ask you do you want the the latest ones we're going to go ahead and click yes now that we see it's only going to show you the game that you're looking at i'll show you another way to look at all game patches just in case it doesn't show up but you'll just open tab, open tab, pick your choice, 30 FPS, 50 FPS is all up to you. You're gonna apply it, well select it, and save it. Now let's see, let's say that your patches don't load up. What we could do is go to, is it configuration? Manage, manage game patches. This is gonna show you all the games available that they have. So like, let's say you own Batman and you want, you know, it's uh, patches, debug menu. That's the only one op uh, option there. You could look up other ones like um, fan-made patches, see what they came up with that like, you know, helped out the game. Um, but this is like the dictionary for all of that. But that's actually pretty much it. I don't want to load up this one because I already have one set up. But just to show you like an idea which one is the old one? Shit. Okay, that's the old one. Is this... Or oh, that was the new one. This is the old one. Perfect. So, we'll double-click our game. Uh, I'm not going to do that now. Another, like, key feature is if you do have a keyboard and mouse, uh, you hold Alt and Enter. Uh, right there, Alt Enter, and it puts it in full screen. I haven't figured out how to use that on the Legion Go because you know you can't map out these extra buttons that we have available. So until then, you're just gonna have to hold Alt Enter onto your keyboard and so on. Um, but yep, this is the game booting up. Just wanted to show you it. It's actually not like the best performing game. Probably not the best choice I could have made. Um, but I enjoy it. It's, it's a good game. It has some flaws, but overall, it's completely playable for myself. I made a video on it if you want to check it out, if you want some settings. So we're in here. Let it do its thing. can't skip this sorry um but that's pretty much it if you just wanted to see gameplay that's like on you i just wanted to show you like if you did everything correctly this is how you'll boot up your awful access to your controls everything works just fine it's actually a solid emulator i highly recommend rpcsx3 
Uh, they're my go-to at least for uh, PlayStation 3. And we're in there. Um, but that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment if, uh, if I missed anything or if you need help with anything in particular. I'm always open to helping out people. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.